thank you, uh, all of you, for uh, being here this afternoon. Uh, I think uh, I echo some of Coach Chadwick's uh, sentiments. You know, as a coach, having been doing this for 20-plus uh, years uh, as an assistant or a head coach, um, uh, in our industry, in our profession, uh, uh, your, your biological uh, system uh, goes to another level right now uh, as you prepare for the official start of practice. And, um, you know, coming, I was in New York the last couple of days with some media obligations there and with other conference uh, USA head coaches. I think we all are really excited, uh, but myself in particular, uh, embracing the great opportunity that I was given six months ago uh, to be the leader of the program here at Marshall. Uh, recognizing that we have challenges uh, that excite me greatly uh, as, I, as we continue to build and restore and elevate the program. Um, I'm more confident today than I was six months ago that I'm in the right place at the right time with the right people. Um, and I'm very lucky to have great support administratively. Uh, I'm very fortunate and blessed, and I know this as a head coach, to have a great staff that, surrounds my, uh, that, that I surround myself with every day. That takes a lot of pressure off of me. Um, and I'm pleased with uh, uh, where we're at as a program uh, and our players. Uh, a lot of change has taken place for them in six months, roughly. Um, and I've been very encouraged. And I just told I just shared that with them before I came here about how, how pleased I've been to this point uh, with their ability to embrace uh, uh, new leadership, new personality, new demands, new expectations. And I think we have uh, uh, done an excellent job in a lot of different areas, on and off the floor. We still recognize we have a long way to go um, uh, to be able to contend and compete for championships year in and year out, and that's why I came here. Uh, but we're excited to get going tomorrow, and uh, as I'm sure everybody in the country and our women's teams work really hard, I've seen them uh, getting after it, and I wish them the, the best. Uh, Royce and his staff have been incredibly easy, and uh, it's been great working with them. So I'm confident that we've established a, a, a high level of work ethic in our work capacity. Uh, I've challenged this group purposely a, a great deal um, uh, and tested them in this preseason uh, in terms of their work, work ethic, their work capacity, um, and uh, I think they've responded very well to that. That's, been the, that's the foundation of our identity. I mean, I, you know, I, I make no mistake. I make no bones about it. I don't know any other secret way but to try to outwork people. Uh, and that's been one of the things that's allowed me to have great opportunities as a head coach, including this opportunity today, now. Uh, and I've tried to uh, share that with my players. Uh, you know, I think you know, a lot of teams have talent, and we have enough talent. Uh, but do we have the other ingredients that are going to allow you to uh, compete at a very high level? And uh, we've started to establish those. Um, they've started to kind of resonate. Uh, and, but we're not, you know, I don't expect to have any of those uh, the, the ultimate answers today. Uh, we're going to be a work in progress in some regards uh, through most of the uh, non-conference. I'm comfortable with that right now. You know, whenever there's change, uh, there's obviously the unknown. And whether it's from a player standpoint, from an administrative standpoint, from an operating standpoint, I think that uh, uh, I'm really confident or comfortable uh, having been able to have to put together a lot of different variables when you're putting together a program, staff, recruiting, retaining players, uh, uh, gaining a better understanding of the, the day in, day out uh, landscape at Marshall University uh, and, and our administration and our uh, working with uh, the faculty, uh, which is a key component for any successful coach. So there's a lot of variables. Uh, I'm more confident today, as I said, uh, because I think I've done a good job of of embracing uh, what Marshall is, is all about and gaining a better understanding and a better appreciation for it. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm better prepared today, as I said, than I was six months ago. I say that in t tongue in cheek to a certain extent. Uh, uh, we're going to try to be a really physical team uh, at some point. Um, I hope it's sooner rather than later. Uh, I think that has been, that's another thing I think we've established in, in, in the preseason workouts and some of them small group and in a, a few full team workouts that were allowed under NCAA rules. Uh, I think the level of physicality uh, is different. Um, uh, we're going to be a team that will uh, pride itself on, be on becoming a, a good defensive team. And we're going to defend. We've got to defend in the half court. We've got to rebound the basketball. We have to take care of the basketball. And then we have to, we're going to have to gain an understanding uh, of execution, which will allow us to have really good shot selection. I think in a nutshell, those four ingredients are what will 
what will hopefully lead us to a lot of success. And again, those are, you know, defend and rebound, um, taking care of the basketball, minimizing turnovers, and then our execution, which will lead to shot selection, uh, which I think is going to be important for us. Some things I've said it from the day one are non-negotiable, and how we're going to play is a reflection on me, of, of me and my personality, and um, I hope that permeates onto the court. It's, it's helped me attain a lot of success as an assistant or a head coach throughout my career. Uh, we don't have an all-conference preseason player uh, on, any, on either of the two preseason all-conference teams. Uh, I just told those guys that. I should tick them off a little bit. Uh, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying exactly who my team should be, but, uh, uh, and I'm not a guy that gets caught up in any individual accolades, but, you know, we have to gain, you know, we're still a program that's got to gain respect in the landscape of Conference USA basketball. We've got to gain respect. Uh, we've got to fight for that respect.